GTR Jacko here. This is the number 35 Audi R8 GT. Finished in a matte version of Suzuka Grey. A rare colour as part of the Audi individual range. This one has been spotted actually around, around sort of the Calais region of France. It's really nice to see it here. It's the second R8 GT that I have well, had a privilege to sit in. Both of them have been white. And it's a fourth R8 GT I've seen, including the Spider model. Audi ceramic brakes as part of the GT package. This one's just recently come in as well. 5.2 litre V10, straight from a Gallardo, for example. That <laughs> oh yes, there's a yeah. Aventador. <laughs> it's lurking in the shadows. Anyway, an absolutely stunning automobile. Stunning, pure, pure, pure elegance. So we're going to take a seat in it. Number 35 out of 333 Audi R8 GT. Nameplate there just in case you forget what you're driving. Oh. This is the second V10 I've been in. I'm doing it again. I love matte coloured cars. So back in May, yes, uh, it was May, I sat in the R8 GT that was owned by Amy McDonald. That was the number 200 and... Actually, I've forgotten, I think it was 40-something. I'll put it into the description of the previous rec um, recording of it. This one is the number 3500 out of 333. The recent addition to the garage's massive multi-million pound stock of... So, well, pretty much supercars. <laughs> the arch nemesis of the R8 GT is, of course, the Super Leggero, which is there. <laughs> anyway. As I've previously mentioned in other videos, the, the the actual dashboard curves around the driver, giving a cockpit feel to it. And obviously, this curving is finished in Alcan um, not Alcantara, carbon fibre, which sort of adds to the lightweightedness of the R8 GT. This is a thing that that Superleggero didn't have. Where you can open up the mirror on the sun visor and it wouldn't have a light. However, you've got a light here. Which is alright. Another light here. Um, you've got the Audi Navigation Plus here as featured in most like high value Audis. You've got your um, Climate control, uh, it's auto automatic so it uses these flappies on the left and the right. Um, got a glove box here which is finished in, in a really lovely felt, like suede. The dashboard is padded as well which is, which is a really nice feature. Seats, very comfortable. 
got Alcantara and leather, which is a um, combination that you see in quite a lot of hunker down, like super car, proper supercar type cars. Cars. Um, so yeah, it's a gorgeous car. This car was uh, previously at Bury St Edmunds Audi. With the power of my phone, you can see the six CD auto changer there. You got six presets to them. Cool. You've also got a cubby hole here, um, where you can store things. Two drinks trays here with you with your handbrake, not an electronic one. Two key fobs. One thing I forgot to mention: it has Bang and Olufsen surround sound. So there you go. A beautiful Audi R8 GT, absolutely, absolutely incredible. Second one, it just get better every time. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave because I've got other, other cars to film. So there you go, the interior and exterior of an R8 GT.